Welcome to Candid Africa, truthful and apologetic. There's a lot of things that's happening in the U.S. that you would never see because they choose to show you what they want you to see for... Yeah. It's about country integrity. You have a certain reputation you have to keep. No one puts their family business out into the street. The, one of the problems we have in Africa is that when something happens, the press is quick to put out negative energy and quick to put out a negative story. And then that story goes on to internet, then other broadcasting systems take it, and they post it. So when you look at places like Kenya, for instance, that I know of maybe what, two terrorist attacks? But it was everywhere. So now people was afraid to go to Kenya because somebody shot up the mall. But then when you look online, there was over 25,000 attacks in the US, but you only knew about maybe five or six. So we have to really rebrand. And then when you look at how the world perceives Africa, they're right, you know, you see zebras, Lions, tigers, bears, oh my. You get to the point where you think Africa's just a big jungle. The images that they're showing of Africa is historical images. This is way before civilization. This is when they were still, you know, battling with spears, like times of Shaka Zulu. No, I'm serious. But then when you look at the US, they're showing Superman, Batman, You know? Where is our Superman? Where is our, like, Shaka Zulu should be a superhero today. <laughs> really? So we have to tell our own stories. I mean, even Jesus is white. <laughs> and you believe it. But it's, our history books in the U.S. is all white American history. Culture that's been borrowed from other nations. But Africa have to teach the same history of our ancestors, the great things that they have accomplished. You know? And it's going to be the jobs of directors like yourself, filmmakers like yourself, to narrate that story. How do we want to be perceived? How do we want that story to be narrated to the rest of the world? Did you like or hate what you heard? Let us know in the comments below.